All right, well, we're here to do another beer review here on this this lovely night, this lovely Saturday night, Sunday morning. Haha, -ha. and this one is a nice beer. It's supposed to be a, 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 a an award-winning beer. This is called Thor's Hammer. It's a barley wine. It's a bourbon barrel-aged barley wine, 2014 vintage, 11.5 percent, 650 mils. Our limited edition. Bourbon barrel aged Thor's Hammer is matured for one full year in mahogany in color. It's mahogany in color. This award winning barley wine is crafted from the finest barley malt, exuding deep, rich notes of dried fruit, plum, and figs, walnut ester, with a walnut ester. Decent to remove the sediment of lees. Enjoy lightly chilled now or. Oh, or cellar for five years or more. Uh, this comes all the way from uh, Central City Brewers and Distillers in Surrey, British Columbia, Canada. So the other side of the country, anyways. Yeah, I don't know if I can get in this. How do you? What do you do here? Like, what is this? Is this wax? Or you just do? I just crack it with the uh, the big uh, cracker, or what? Can I do that? I don't think there's a cork in there. Is it? I should try. I don't know. I've never seen this. This. I never seen this rig before. What am I supposed to do here? This is different to me. Do I? What the hell? I don't know. I know it's not a twist off. This is going to be exciting. I trying to get into this thing. How do you? Is it wax? This is wax. What the hell? There, the knife helps. Look at that. Oh, there we go. Ha! Ah. Get that sucker off. That big old. I should chew on it. Now, now what to do? Sorry for all the noise I'm making on there. There's a cap under there. I finally got to the cap. Sheesh. Well, well, well. That took long enough, didn't it? Central City Brewers and Distillers. So now I can uncap the damn thing. The darn thing. It warmed up while I was doing that anyways. <laughs> a little bit. All right, here we go. Psst. Oh, here we go. We got into her. Oh yeah, nice, 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 nice. Let's pour this guy up. Might not get much of a head because of the alcohol content, I guess, eh? Big alcohol means little to no head. Oh. Oh. Nice looking, nice looking one. That's a nice looking one, isn't it? Yeah, nice looking. It's almost, almost can't see through it. Almost can't see through it. There's no flashlights in front of me. I have no flashlights in front of me. That's a new thing. Okay, let's give it a sniff. Oh, well, it's got a nice uh, mild aroma. It's mostly just like sweet dates, a little bit of licorice in there, and the aroma. I think, it's, I think that's mostly like a sweet date aroma. Dates, what are those damn things, eh? Those things they put in date squares, you know what I'm saying? All right, I'm going to give her a taste. Cheers, everyone. First thing that's hit me is the sweetness. It is pretty sweet. Well, it's quite sweet. But there is a lot of, uh, there is quite a hefty date and raisiny flavor or notes into it. I wouldn't even say notes. It's not, notes is when it's something mild, right? It's when it's a hint of something. This has got a strong uh, raisin date flavor to it. Uh, I'm trying to pick up anything that comes from the barrel. I'm trying to just... <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure if I can really get something from the barrel, but maybe if there's a barrel flavor, you know, the bar the bourbon barrel, if it's it's very mild. I mean, it's not strong at all. It's very uh, it's very faint if it's there. It's I guess that's what I'm tasting. <laughs> there is a slight alcohol, a slightly noticeable. Yeah, the alcohol. I can just I can just pick it up. There's like a tiny bit of a, I guess a tiny bit of burn or a tiny bit of heat from the alcohol. It's very, 
but it is mild so it is it is masked for the most part it's pretty masked or or mellowed i guess but not bad i like it it's not bad i am um, the only thing i'm i'm having trouble getting over myself is the sweetness it, it you know i'm not a big fan of the beers that are really that are kind of hefty on the sweetness probably if i'd let it sit in my closet for an, a year it would have been might have, might, might have mellowed out the sweetness a little bit, but other than that, I think it's a pretty good beer. It's not coming to me yet. As being an amazing, amazing beer. It's nice. Um, it's, I think it's going to be nice. Yeah, I, I actually don't mind a little tiny bit of alcohol heat or alcohol burn, you know. I don't mind a little bit of that. There's a there's a hint of that, and I don't mind that. But uh, anyways, uh, if I was to give this a rating, I'm, I'd come in at around eight out of ten in my my preference. It's not exactly something I'm going to say that I uh, absolutely blown away by. What's that? That's some wax. You know what I'm saying? I'm not exactly blown away by like like absolutely awesome, but it's still pretty good. Anyways, I'd say about an 8 out of 10 for me. That's about where I'm uh, sitting at this one. Cheers, everybody. Keep your mugs full. Thanks for joining me.